Guess what? I'm not a robot is live on Spotify and uh, to celebrate this today I'm gonna show you my studio or like the stuff I make music with. Okay, let's start with the part where I actually make the music I release um, and also edit this video It's my computer. Uh, I've got a MIDI keyboard here, I've got a machine micro here, uh, speakers and a microphone. I will get to everything in detail sooner or later. Let's start with my DAW, my digital audio workstation where I create stuff. When I started out I was using Fruity Loops and then eventually moved on to Ableton Live uh, which I've been using for many years in all of my uh, tracks that I released officially or as a free download or just for friends have been made with Ableton Live. Uh, but a few yeah, days, maybe two weeks ago I decided to switch to Logic Pro because I like the setup more. To me it seems like Logic is the perfect mix of the possibilities in Ableton and Fruity Loops and I'm trying to get my hands on it. I'm trying I'm trying to understand how everything works but uh, it takes time to master it. The MIDI keyboard I'm using is the Alesis Q49 which I use because it works via USB so I can play on the computer with it, but it also features a MIDI port which means I can uh, control my analog synthesizers with it. So this is like the perfect combo, the 49 keys are pretty big, I don't really need them because I can't play the piano properly, uh, so it doesn't happen that often that I use both of my hands at the same time. But I gotta say it is not too expensive and it's pretty neat. What I really like about this MIDI keyboard is that you are able to modulate your digital synthesizers with the modulation wheel and also you can pitch the tone. The wheels are awesome, it's the first MIDI keyboard I have that has these wheels. The keyboard cannot play on its own, neither can my drum machine, the Machine Micro, which is a digital drum machine by Native Instruments. It comes with a software called Machine 2 and also the very nice audio plugin called Massive. And uh, basically you could create songs only with this thing, but I mainly use it as a tool to uh, play my drums when I create music. Basically you can map a sound to every of the buttons, you can have different groups of buttons, so you have more than the 16 you can see, you can switch uh, between the groups and every button you tap makes the sound you want it to make. I think the best feature about the Maschine is that uh, you can program drum patterns and while they play back you see the buttons flashing uh, when the corresponding sound is being played. Now of course to actually listen to music you either need some good headphones or speakers. So let's speak about my speakers. <laughs> I'm using the uh, I think 6.5 inch speakers by Mackie. It might be the smaller version, I'm not completely sure about it. I have it on top of uh, sandstone, so it's a little bit higher and I have them placed in a triangle to me so I get sound from the perfect direction and it feels like the sound is all around me. They are budget speakers with a really really high quality. I'm really amazed by the sound quality and the loudness too. They can go very loud I think they also look awesome. They have enough inputs for me, like they have two inputs on the back and one on the front. I don't really know what else to say about the speakers. So I think we should just move on. Now this big as ultra wide 21 to 9 screen I'm using is called the LG 
UM34P. Uh, it has a Thunderbolt connector for my MacBook, which is in this vertical stand right here. And it is just awesome. I use it for editing videos because the colors are great. And you see so much on this white screen. It's, it's ultra white in my digital audio workstations. I can see so much at the same time. I can see so much that's going on. One of the best inventions I ever made in terms of electronics. So if I want to tell you something about the microphone, we actually have to take a closer look at the mixer. There are already some effects on the microphone from the mixer. It's just a standard uh, microphone not USB, just a uh, regular aux cord. Like uh, I'm using an XLR cable right now for it, so I can connect it to the mixer. But it's quite okay for what I use it. Check one, two, one, two, hello. And this is uh, how it sounds when I speak into the microphone. There's a little bit of reverb on my, no on my voice. The microphone is plugged into this mixer. It's the Toman, the T-Mix uh, 12, 02FX. It has four channels and four microphone channels, so eight channels overall. It also has an effects section built into, so I can put delay or reverb or pitching effects on my voice. And so far it's been serving me great. Uh, I just miss an USB option because I cannot uh, yet put the sounds I'm recording with the microphone or with these things here into my computer. Now I don't want to show you every single cable, every single connect, and because then this video would be way too long. So let's move on to first my favorite synthesizer. Just love it, it's just a toy from the Mickey Mouse magazine. So next up let's talk about these three guys. They are uh, all from the Korg Walker series. I've got the Korg Walker uh, Beats, the Korg Walker Bass and the Korg Walker Keys. So those are analog synthesizers, um, they are not digital. The Beats is a simple drum machine based on the 808 and has a really nice sound to it. There's not much you can do, you can add a starter or similar, but it's okay. Then we have the Korg Walker Bass, which is, as the name suggests, a synthesizer which you can use to create nice bass lines. What I really like about this thing is the pure, brutal, raw, acid bass sound uh, you can make with it. And last but not least we have the Cork Walker Keys, which is another synthesizer. It's polyphone, so you can play three notes at the same time. It's my least favorite of the three I own. Um, but it's still great and they are not really uh, expensive. They just work and they sound really good. Another synthesizer that I'm using is the Teenage Engineering Pocket Operator 20 Arcade, which has really, really nice sounds. It's basically a full working uh, synthesizer workstation. <laughs> You have a limited set of sounds you can create with this because it's more like um, you play already preset samples that you can modulate a little bit, but it just has this chiptune sound to it and it's really nice. And by using the built-in sync feature, I can easily sync the tempo of all those four synthesizers. Uh, so I can just play and the beat is always in time, so it's fairly easy to create raw songs with this. I even played a few live sets with those already.
Now the only thing that's left is my DJ setup. It's not really made for making music, but for playing music. I use the Tractor Control S4 MK2 as my DJ controller. For the headphones I use Technics RP DJ1210. They are really really good and they are the first headphones that last longer than six months before breaking. So uh, I can really recommend those headphones. Even though it's kind of weird that uh, the cable while wearing them is on the right, usually the cable is on the left side. But uh, I guess it's just something you get need to get used to it. I'm also using for DJing. I used to use my laptop, but recently I switched to an iPad with the Traktor DJ app. So I'm just utilizing two channels, but it's perfect because it's really small. It does everything I wanted to do and uh, it's a lot of fun. I can also DJ without the controller if I'm somewhere. It's amazing. Now I don't want to review any of the products I use, just want to show you what they are and how I use them to keep this video uh, shorter than it would be if I reviewed everything. If you want to check out uh, some of the items, I'm gonna try a link every one of them with an Amazon referral link in the description below and if you want an in-depth review, I'm sure you can easily find one of the product and how it sounds and how it feels just by searching for it on YouTube. That's how I informed myself about all of the products I used before even buying them. So, uh, it was kind of a music episode or like the long promised studio tour. Uh, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye.